Hi guys and welcome to today's Make Along. My name is Lisa Jones and I'm a designer here at Sizzix. Uh, one of my roles is designing the dies and stamps and embossing folders here. Um, and I've got a brand new one here today from Chapter 4 and this one is designed by Olivia Rose. So all of us designers have our own little logo here on packaging. Um, and this one is called the Heart Slider card. Um, and it's signed by Rose and she is super clever with her interactive dies. Um, and this one here, I'm going to show you how to make this card and the end result, look how cute this is, pops open like this with a little message inside. So I'm going to show you what you can make with this die um, and also how the mechanism works. These are all the dies that you're getting in the set. Um, so I'll just take them off this backing here so you can shape, see. So these here are essentially what makes the heart slider. So you've got the top and then you've got the bottom and then this one is the top of that one and then this is what makes the slider. So additionally you've got lots of little elements here, you've got hearts, you've got some sentiments and you've got some flor florals. Uh, so what I'm going to do is before I cut out the main pieces I'm actually going to use some of our acrylic paints today just to kind of um, give it a bit of a background instead of using coloured cardstock I'm just going to give you a few tips and tricks there on some effect stuff. So I've chosen a palette today just of three colours. I've got the, um, the purple and the pink and the Arctic Sky Blue. So I'm just going to use our medium mat here, which is really handy because you can just wipe it all clean afterwards, after you've made the mess. So I'm just going to use a little bit of each colour. And I've just got a little palette knife for this and some smooth white card. So to get this effect, all I'm going to do, and you don't have to be neat with this at all, you just need to scoop the three colours together on your palette and just drag it on your page. And you can go over and you can make a little bit of a mess and just, I kind of know the surface area size that I need from the design, so I'm just going to make sure that I'm covering all of that with this, with the paint. I think that's done and then I'm just going to use my heat tool just to dry this before running it through the machine. Okay. Now I'm just going to cut this to size to fit in the machine. So the parts of the die that we'll be showing is obviously this top bit and then this one without the mechanism pieces. So this is essentially the back so you don't really need to worry about if you're getting all of the effects on that. So mostly you just need to make sure that these are covered. So if I pop those there and I'm also going to cut this one. And this one is just the um, sliding up and down mechanism and is kind of going to be hidden so I'm going to just cut that one out of white so that it doesn't distract from the project. And I'm just using my Big Shot today. So I'm going to cut all these in one go. So let's bring these into here so you can see. So this one is the slider, just in white. This will be the back, so it doesn't matter that I've not got all of that covered. And then this has got all the really nice painted background on there. And then this one has the sentiment kind of like stuck to it, so you can't really change this one out. Um, but it's got love you on the front there. Um, and then the additional pieces here that you've got in the set has got I will always and just to say. So you can mix and match what you want to put on the front or you can keep it plain as it is as well. So it's quite nice that it's just got love you, you can use it for Christmas, you can use it for birthdays, thank you, Mother's Day, anything like that. But also of course for Valentine's or anniversaries too. 
So when we're designing our dies, we do try and kind of bear in mind what else we can make with it, just to make it versatile so you guys can use it all year round. Okay, so I'll just move these out of the way. So this is what we've got, this is the back, um, and there's some fold lines here to just guide you on where you need to fold those up, like that. There we go. And then this slider mechanism just goes through the top tab here, like that, and then that will be hidden in the bottom of the card. So to position this in the right place so that it pops up, you just need to kind of make sure that this is at the bottom and then that is going to need to be in line with that like that. And then you can see that there's a little bit of the tab sticking out the top. So that is intentional. So you can be like, oh, there's a tab, this opens, something happens. Or if you want to, you can cut it down shorter so that you've just got the top of the heart. So that's up to you. And then just going to use the adhesive roller to pop a bit of adhesive there in the middle. And then line that up with a heart there. So you've got it in the right place. And then that is going to slide up to there. So I'm going to put it back. And then you just need to hide all of this mechanism here with this top bit. So I'm going to use the adhesive roller again, just on the tabs that we have here. And this thing is so handy because there's no glue, there's no sticky residue, it's all done. It's great for tabs and interactive stuff. Okay, so just need to line that up with the bottom like that. And then that is just how simple was that to put together. So you can see how you've got the effects coming on here. If you use this tab to pull it up, you've got that love you sentiment popping there. And then like I said, you can use the other stuff on here, but I wanted to keep this one quite plain um, for this design. So what I've got is just a plain white square card. And if you are, you can use this by itself as a tag, but if you are sticking it on a card front, um, just make sure that you're only putting glue on the, um, not on the mechanism, just on the outer piece of this triangle. And you don't want it on the top either because that needs to be able to move up and down. So I'm just gonna use the roller again for this. So I'm just gonna have it just across the edges. and set it in the middle. So that was so simple, but so effective, the end result. And hopefully you can use this tab here, or you can just hold the heart at the top and slide it for your little sentiment. So how cute is that? And just this is just one example of how you can use it. Um, I've got many examples here that I can talk through. Um, so this one, I've used it just by itself. I've changed the color of the um, the mechanism here. I've added some of the florals at the bottom as well. Um, and then again, I've just kept this one simple with love you sentiment in there. So it'd be so nice as a little tag um, for an anniversary or Valentine's Day. Also, Christmas is coming up. If you're making for Christmas and you've not thought about Valentine's Day yet, um, this one I've used some of our um, festive pattern papers um, and just pull that in there. So you can put to and from on the back. I've just punched a hole in it, added some ribbon, and there you go. You've got some tags ready made and you can personalize it with the names of who you're giving them to. Um, then, like I said, we do try and give some versatility. So we have put a lot of um, extra elements in the set. So we've got some flowers, like I said, we've got the sentiments and also some hearts. And these are just little techniques and like additional little cards that I've made using some of the extra elements. So this one, I've used the paint um, effect here as well, the smeared paint, and then some of the hearts and foliage pieces. It's past plate of paper at the back. Then this one, I've just hand drawn some stems and used the um, hearts in there to make a thank you card. So like I said, all occasions covered. And then this one is just, just to say card, which you can put whatever your message is in the front. I've used pattern papers in the back here um, and cut out the negatives from all the individual hearts. So these dies here that you can see, they don't have like a frame, they're not attached to anything. So 
it makes a really nice negative piece. So hopefully that's shown you quite a few different things that you can make with this die set and also just explained how to put it together and that was really, really quick but it just shows just how simple it is and how easy it is. So thanks for tuning in and um, we'll catch you in the next one.